I didn't see you mention Rahul Gandhi or target the Gandhi family at all. The only uh, time which you did in your speech today was when you mentioned Mohabbat ki dukaan and said actually they are nafrat ka saman. Uh, you know, somewhere you, you see that, that was a direct jibe at Rahul Gandhi. Such, you have such a contradiction with people saying that we want to destroy the Sanatan Dharma. And they are completely quiet on that. A party that talks about the rights of OBC, rights of OBC, rights of OBC. When the topic comes up and Rajdeep Sardesai asks me, what do you think about Akhilesh? I say, Akhilesh, Akhilesh, I talk to you. This is the way, this is the regard you have for an OBC leader. Good, bad or ugly, Akhilesh Yadav is one of the biggest OBC leaders in the country. He may be my opposition, but I respect him. That is what politics is about. You're talking about the breakdown in the Congress Samajwadi Party alliance in Madhya Pradesh, but I, I, I want to understand I, I from you. Make the point okay. that I'm not talking about the breakdown of the alliance in Madhya Pradesh. Okay. I'm talking about the breakdown of the Congress Party. How? What is the big difference, therefore, that you see between Prime Minister Modi and Rahul Gandhi between the Congress and the BJP, between your past and the present? The first difference: you are working in a system that believes in meritocracy. Can I just stop you for a moment? Because there will be those who will say, you're talking of meritocracy, you're a dentist. If Rahul Gandhi is a dentist, so is Jyotiraditya Sindhya. That's not the point. If your father is in politics, you have every right to be in politics. What is the concept of Parivarvad? The concept of Parivarvad is when one family captures the right for anyone to be able to chart the future of that political party. It has got nothing to do with my father, my grandmother being in politics and my father being an MP and post my father, me being an MP. It's got nothing to do with that. In an electoral system, everyone has a right to contest. It is only about the capturing of an organization for one particular family. When you were in your past, you would call him communal, you would call the BJP's Hindutva communal. Is all that forgotten? Did you get that wrong? Uh, how do you respond to those who will say that, you know, Jyotiraditya Sindhi, as I said, has simply, you know, shifted his ideology to be on the right side so of power? You could have said the right side of power if I had shifted to become chief minister here. It's not that I was not a minister before. So how do you see this whole Hindutva politics? As far as the politics are concerned, this is not Hindutva politics. It is about making sure that India rises on the global stage. You mentioned briefly chief ministership. Is that still a goal? I'll tell you something very interesting that a Congress uh, middle-level leader told me. He said this was the election where Jyotiraditya Sindhya could have been our face and if Congress had won in Madhya Pradesh, he would be Chief Minister. He's missed the boat. How many states have you heard this refrain from in the Congress party? But, but this is a, isn't this a valid point? You were you are being encouraged by the Congress. You became a minister in your 30s. You were given every opportunity. This could have been your election to be Chief Minister. But you could have, have been chief minister. 20 years of my life to the Congress party. Sure you have. This is the problem with the Congress party and the likes of interviews like you. Mm -hmm. You always look at what the party has given. Don't forget it's the ordinary worker that makes the party. But the I want to know, have you missed, have you missed? No, no, have, I, I'm on, okay. I bat always on the front foot. I bat on the front front foot. Right now, right now you're too close to okay. your wicket and it'll be a hit wicket. Let okay. me tell you. Okay, good you're one. Heading down, you're heading That's a good one. Okay. But, but can I ask you this? Do you so, think so, that you will so, be chief minister so in a BJP no, government, which you could have in a Congress psychology. government? Psychology, and this is the difference between the Congress and the BJP. Mm -hmm. The BJP, it is the worker that makes the party. In the Congress, it is what the Congress doles out to you. You know, uh, Jyotiraditya Sindhya, what is very interesting, you know, in, in Madhya Pradesh, as I travel, there's talk of Parivartan, but there's also talk of Ladli Bana and various schemes that are being done by the Madhya Pradesh government that put cash in hand. Some say these cash in hand schemes are pure bribery of the voter ahead of an election. They don't really lead to development. What's your view? Since you just mentioned that your commitment is to development, do you believe Ladli Bana putting 1250 rupees in someone's pocket is actually development or is it Revdi? How do you respond? Think about it. Whether it's Pradhan Mantri Kisan Sammanidhi, whether it is Ladli Bana Yojana, who are you bringing to the forefront? You are bringing those people to the forefront in this country that have for decades been at the periphery. Who gets PM Kisan Sammanidhi? Your Simant Krishak, your marginal farmer, your farmer who does not even have two bigas of land. Who gets 1250? 
the lardly behna who today at home has no source of income i have just two small final questions one is what is the biggest change in the jyotiraditya sindhya i see in 2023 from the jyotiraditya sindhya of 2018 there i saw you all over the posters with uh, uh, with kamal nath ji and digvijay singh ji now you all are in a collective leadership there's no certainty whether shivraj singh chauhan will be the chief minister of the bjp wins that's one part of it uh, is he is he going to be the chief minister it is collective leadership in madhya pradesh and it is collective leadership always within the bjp minimum 70% at the minimum and i would go up to 80 to 90% of the credit of transforming madhya pradesh goes only to one person and that person is shivraj singh chauhan one of the questions about the shivraj singh government that keeps coming up in madhya pradesh is fatigue factor 20 years in power there's a sense that corruption has grown there's a sense that it is the same mama ji people want change how do you respond that people want parivartan this is what kamal nath told me also that people want change this is people versus bjp this time in the congress campaign when i used to go to campaign you are a difficult time controlling people why there was no bijli there was no sadak there was no pani that was an anti incumbency government when the congress party was completely wiped out we had 37 seats out of 230 you've been here with me for the last minimum 2 hours have you experienced anything called anti incumbency here but a sense of fatigue a sense that people say yaar badlav chahiye i have heard in madhya pradesh i have heard those voices 18 20 years a party has been in government some of those voices you will hear mm. but that's not an anti incumbency in fact i will go so far to venture that in madhya pradesh it's a pro incumbency level of quality of roads from 44000 kilometers of roads Today in Madhya Pradesh, you have five lakh kilometers of roads. That's a eleven multiple power. Five thousand one hundred and sixty megawatts of power. Today you have twenty-nine thousand megawatts of power. That's a five point five multiple irrigation. Seven point six nine lakh hectares of land irrigated. Today forty-nine lakh hectares of land irrigated. Seven multiple doctors. Seven thousand five hundred and ten in two thousand ten. Today fifty-one thousand doctors. Yet huge unemployment. Yet huge unemployment. Thirty-eight lakh people unemployed. Just twenty-one have got employment on the government service. Patwaris, uh, huge corruption. Something must be. You know, even in 2018, it was a very razor-thin uh, uh, fight which the Congress won. If all was so good, unlike in Gujarat, here you have a real tough fight. Per capita income, eleven thousand rupees. Today, one lakh forty thousand rupees. Fourteen times multiple. Okay. Now. as an outsider you can always see a glass is half full or a glass is half empty 